videos of support of a decades-old letter by Osama bin Laden criticizing the United States and its support of Israel surging in popularity this week on TikTok, adding to accusations that the company is fueling the spread of anti-Semitic content. Representatives from TikTok saying they are aggressively removing this content and investigating how it got onto the platform. Joining us right now is Sapna Amashwari. She's a New York Times business reporter. Uh, it's a fascinating story, uh, Sabna. There was a call, and maybe you can tell everybody about it, with Sasha Baron Cohen and a whole number of other people uh, with TikTok, uh, suggesting that uh, they're not doing enough. H how, d how did this even begin? So, really, I mean, since October 7th, there has been just a flood of anti-Semitism and hate speech across the board. Uh, as we all know, on all of the social media platforms, but it's been especially bad on TikTok. Um, and so uh, actually last week, a pretty big group of creators uh, who are Jewish, including some celebrities, uh, Deborah Messing and Amy Schumer um, and and so on, they all wrote an open letter telling TikTok that the company just wasn't doing enough to stop um all the hate they were receiving on the platform. They were getting all kinds of horrible, horrible comments um, saying Hitler was right, um, just terrible, terrible things. And uh, TikTok actually reached out to this group and ended up setting up a meeting with its COO and other executives um, on Wednesday night. And I actually was able to obtain a recording of that meeting. Um, and it was incredibly interesting. It was an hour and a half long. They really talked about um, everything they're experiencing, ways in which the platform could do better. But at the end of the day, you know, what really emerged is that this is an enormous problem um, and it's really out of control. And um, and actually on that call, this is, you know, one of the creators brought up this um, bin Laden letter that had been circulating as well, and um, and people are just very upset. How how does what's happening on TikTok compare, if you could, and, and to the extent we know, and uh, we can, I want to get into the Elon Musk of it all and what's happening on X, but compare with what you see on Meta, for example, on the various platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and the like, and then X, and then some of the other services, YouTube, and uh, and others. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a problem across social platforms. What makes TikTok different is its powerful algorithmic feed. So unlike other platforms where you go and follow your friends, I would say X and TikTok are different in the sense that people really go often to discover people that they don't know. They follow personalities they've never seen before. And in TikTok's case, you're really there to be served content that's interesting to you, the algorithm figures out what you like. And so what makes a little bit of this, I mean, it makes it all unique, right? In that um, people are saying they're being served a certain type of content. And across the board, these algorithms, these platforms are black boxes. But what people have said is they're seeing things on TikTok that are more pro-Palestine, anti-Israel, and then separately anti-Semitic. So um, as oh. far as, you know, the true numbers, only the companies would really right. know that. But this is the experience what, people have. What are you hearing from the advertising community? Because obviously yesterday we heard that IBM had pulled its advertising from X because it had seen that its ads uh, were being placed next to uh, some, some uh, pro-Nazi uh, propaganda content. So far, I haven't heard a whole lot of advertisers say one way or the other on TikTok. It hasn't gotten to that point. And what I did find interesting about the meeting that I that I listened to with the creators is that TikTok, you know, put its CEO um, or its equivalent of a COO on the phone with uh, these creators. And so they're clearly taking this very seriously. And that's because lawmakers are paying attention to uh, what's happening on TikTok, because as we all know, the app has been under a ton of scrutiny this year. You know, one of the other things that is is often said and, and you've reported on is just the control of TikTok, whether it's really controlled by the Chinese, Chinese government, what kind of access they have to this information, whether they're the ones that are, um, you know, pushing certain things on the algorithm. How much did that come up in the conversation that you heard? So as far as the creators, um, 
you know, they weren't raising those concerns so much, but I think that we have seen those concerns raised very quickly by Republican lawmakers who were grilling the CEO of TikTok about this earlier this year. So I think that TikTok is aware that these criticisms are absolutely putting them back in the hot seat and raising these questions again around, you know, where are the engineers for this company and and what influence could its Chinese ownership have? Of course, they have roundly denied um, that there is any of this influence, but it it doesn't look great and they're pushing back very hard.